Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Sufyan Ijaz and today I am going to explain on the topic Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan. So starting from this second slide, there is a quote of uh, Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan which is a very famous quote. I am reading in English. We eat the same crop, drink water from the same rivers and breathe the same air. As a matter of fact, Hindus and Muslims are the two eyes of the beautiful bride that is Hindustan. The weakness of only of them will spoil the beauty of the bride. This is a famous quote of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan. You can see in Aligarh Muslim University and in Malapuram Center also. Some wall, the, in some wall you can see the uh, these quotes. And in Urdu there is a second quote. Hamare daay hath mein Quran, baay hath mein science aur sar par karma la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah ka taaj hoga. The translation of this quote is. The Holy Quran will be on our right hand. Natural sciences will be in our left hand, and the crown of La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah will be on our head. So, moving on the third slide, which is describing about the early life and education of uh, Sayyid Ahmad Khan. So, Sayyid Ahmad Khan was born on 17 October 1817 in Delhi. His father' name was Sayyid Muttaqi Muhammad. He was an advisor to Emperor Akbar II. His mother name was Azizun Nisa, and she was a highly cultured lady who brought up Sayyid in his formative years with great care. He received his early education from his maternal grandfather Khaja Fariduddin and learned about the working of the courts from his uncle Maulvi Muhammad Khalilullah. So you can see in the fourth slide. Uh, there is a early stage of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan and the education. Sir Sayyid received an honorary law degree from the University of Edinburgh in 1889. He was a widely read person and studied books on mathematics, medicine, Persian, Arabic, Urdu, etc. Sir Sayyid got his first job in the court at Agra as an assistant clerk. He proved his worth. As a hard and sincere worker in the courts, which brought him promotions one after another. Apart from the working in Agra at the beginning of his career, he also served his tenures of appointment at Manpuri and Fatehpur Sikri. Later, he worked as the chief amin in Delhi and then in Bijnor. He then served on the higher position of Sadru Sudur. In Muradabad, then Ghazipur and Banaras, the Sadru Sudur is known for the man who know about the Islamic Sharia, the principles, and uh, the amount of finance also in the hand of Sadru Sudur. So, Sayyid Ahmad Khan served as a position and a higher position of Sadru Sudur in Muradabad, then Ghazipur and Banaras. As he worked in these places with complete dedication, he came. He became very popular with people as well as the British administration, which uh, decorated him with the title of Sir in 1888 for his loyalty. During the 1857 revolt, he lost many relatives. He was highly affected by the defeat of the Mughal Empire. After the revolt of 1857, Sir Syed started to think about the upliftment of Muslim community. He wrote a profound booklet, Asbabe Bagavate Hind, Reasons for the Indian Revolt of 1857, which cited British ignorance and aggressive expansion policies as the chief causes of the revolt. Now, talking about the vision of Sir Syed Ahmed Khan, so vision of Sir Syed Ahmed Khan, the supreme vision was the education in widened sense. He wanted to spread the education among the Muslim community because after the 1857 revolt, he changed his life and mainly the vision. And he think that without the education, Muslim community cannot be up uplift. And therefore, he started uh, the he started everything for the education. And you will see. In another video, uh, maybe uh, Abu Tayyab or Hamza Khan and the Sadi Khalam will explain about the Aligarh movement uh, and uh, uh, Anglo-Oriental College also. So we, we'll, so you will 
see in the next video in this video i am talking only about the early life and vision of sir sayyid ahmed khan so moving forward he wanted to create a scientific temperament among the muslims of india and to make the modern knowledge of science uh, available to them sir sayyid wanted to give modern education to muslim community with the religious education and for his he began establishing schools in 1859 Sayyid established Gulshan School at Muradabad in 1863 Victoria School at Ghazipur and established Scientific Society same year in 1875 founded Muhammadan Anglo Oriental College the first Muslim university in South Asia in 1870 published the general Tahzibul Akhlaq to spread knowledge and awareness of modern subject and promotes reforms in muslim society so moving in the next slide that is slide number 8 you can see here the famous works of sir sayyid ahmed khan so starting from the first tafsirul quran six volumes 1877 to 1904 if you want to uh, read all these works you can visit to amu website and all this work pdf you can find there and you can read very easily second work is al duwa wal istajaba al khutbatul ahmadiya wal risalatul muhammadiya an account of the loyal muhammadans of india uh, these are the three parts part 1 and part 2 and part 3 then asbab e baghawat e hind 1859 history of bijnor rebellion itlaa e ghulami ek nadan khuda prast izalatul ghainul zul qarnain خلق الانسان على ما في القران سو ذيس ار دي فيموس ورکس اف سر سید احمد خان نو سر سید خان ریپلائز ٹو سر ولیم میور آن ا بک لائف اف پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ان 1861 ولیم میور روٹ دا بک اباؤٹ دی پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم لائف اینڈ ان ہز بک ہی روٹ ویری نیگیٹیولی اباؤٹ دی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سو ان After reading the book of William Muir, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan replies in a very beautiful way by writing a book. Sir Syed wrote in 1868, after reading the book, that these days I am in a bit of turmoil. I have been reading the book William Muir wrote on the life of the Prophet. It has burned my heart, and its injustices and prejudices have roasted my heart. I have resolved to write a biography of. the prophet just as i had earlier intended even uh, even if i have to spend all my money and become like a beggar begini begi beggar begging for arms so this is the words of sir sayyid ahmed khan after replying the uh, book of uh, william muir so the book written was sir sayyid ahmed khan was a series of essays on the life of muhammad and subject subsidiary a theoretical this book written by sir sayyid ahmed khan in, prior, in replying to sir william muir in 1870 so the great philosopher author educationist and jurist sir sayyid ahmed khan passed away on 27 march 1898 in aligarh he lies buried within the precincts of the jama masjid of aligarh muslim university of aligarh so these are the questions for the student and uh, this is the references i have i collected the data from these references and so this is all my uh, presentation and i think i explained in a very well manner so you can go through the all slides so you can understand about the early life and education and works of sir sayyid ahmed khan uh, in a very easy language so thank you so much thank you for watching the video thank you so much